Did you hear something? What was that? Sometimes, as you wander the wasteland, you'll see what appears to be a flying saucer sail through the air, and then you hear a loud crash. If you follow the trail of smoke, you eventually find your way to the area around Oberlan Station. Due west of Oberlan Station is Relay Tower 1DL 109. If you extend the satellite dishes on this relay tower, you pick up a garbled radio beacon. As you get closer to the source of the beacon, it gets much more clear, and it sounds like someone is speaking in an alien language. If you follow the smoke and the radio beacon correctly, eventually you'll find trees on fire, and you'll see a pillar of smoke in the distance. Here you find a crashed alien spaceship. It hit the ground and left a huge scar. Unlike the fake alien ship that the Hubologists use in Nuka World, this one doesn't have a door that you can easily access. But if you look closely, you do see what appears to be a puddle of green blood near the crash site. Whatever creature was injured left a trail of green blood that you can follow. Following the trail eventually leads you to a darkened cave. Inside the cave, you come face to face with the voice on the distress call. None other than a little green man. He's instantly hostile and begins to attack you. You have no choice but to defend yourself. On the body of the alien, you find an alien blaster pistol and a random number of alien blaster rounds. These are the only alien blaster rounds that you can find in the game. So once you run out of these, you're out forever. On the floor, you see the ham radio that the alien was using to radio for help. I guess we can assume from this that this alien has friends in the vicinity. Of course, you know this already if you played Fallout 3. One of the DLCs for Fallout 3 is Mothership Zeta, where you actually get abducted by aliens and you have to fight your way off of the ship. In fact, the language used in the garbled distress call is the exact same language used in Mothership Zeta. So we know that this is the same species of alien. Additionally, one of the loading screens tells us that this species of alien life is called the Zetan, which of course is a reference to Scientology, which believes that a Thetan is some sort of human spirit or soul. You can take the alien blaster back to a weapons bench and upgrade it. There are a number of different upgrades. You can keep it a pistol or you can equip a long barrel and a sharpshooter's grip to turn it into a sniper rifle. It even comes with a night vision scope. And if you ever run out of the standard alien blaster rounds, you can upgrade the magazine to accept fusion cells. This reduces the damage and even though it says it reduces the ammo capacity, it actually doesn't. It increases ammo capacity. Speaking about ammo capacity, the default ammo capacity is 42. Yes, that's right, that's a reference to The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where the answer to life and existence and everything is 42. The weapon is nice, it's not quite as nice as Hub's Alien Blaster. That weapon has the lucky weapon augmentation and hits a little harder than the Alien Blaster. But considering you can get this very early in the game, it's an excellent weapon for a gunslinger in particular, and for a character who depends upon vats. Now, this is a random encounter. I got really lucky. In three of the four games that I've played, I never found the alien. The spaceship never appeared over me. Even when I went to the crash site, there was nothing there. There was no radio distress call to follow. He just never appeared in my game. But while shooting footage for another video, I loaded an old save and I just so happened to trigger the random encounter just as I logged in. This allowed me to find out from which direction the ship was coming and actually record footage of the ship crash landing. So I'm pretty excited about that. I sadly didn't have any companions with me when this random encounter triggered, but every companion except for Dogmeat is programmed to say something when the spaceship lands. 
Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thought I would shoot this quick video since this random event just happened to me and it was a whole lot of fun. The event can happen anywhere in the game, but it happened to me just outside the Cambridge Police Station. Do you have any thoughts on the aliens in this game? Do you like the fact that there are aliens in this world? Or do you feel like Zetons have no place in the Fallout 4 universe? Let me know in the comments below. I read all the comments you guys leave on my videos and I use them as inspiration for my future videos. So if you want me to do a video on a specific topic, your best bet is to leave a comment below. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. Patreon subscribers gain access to my private Discord server, as well as a bunch of other cool Oxhorn perks. But more than anything, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad that you're here watching this video today. Thank you for watching from the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early with a brand new video.